So I'm going to redo this video, but it's going to be very like, it's not going to be animated because I'm trying to make this very sanitized for a specific audience. So give me one second. And I'm going to read this verbatim. But if you want to hear the animated version, look at the video below. Okay. But my last video was too animated for some venues out there. All right. So I'm just going to read this verbatim. And this is for my YouTube audience. The root cause between the deep divide of the two warring factions of pro and con, for and against, comes from fear of viruses, symptoms, salt, sugar, and food. Viruses are evolutionary. Symptoms are evolutionary. You need salt, you need sugar, and you need food. Who instilled the, virus, the fear of viruses, symptoms? Who instilled the fear of viruses, symptoms, salt, sugar, and food? The medical holistic system worshiping asymptomatic people instilled the fear of viruses, symptoms, salt, sugar, and food. When you think about who violates the Hippocratic Oath, it is actually by those who are supposed to uphold the Hippocratic Oath. The whole point of do no harm to a person is not to invasively, surgically take things out or put things in. Not to instill fear and salt, food, symptoms, or viruses, or parasites, or protozoa, or proteins, fungus, or bacteria. And so the irony of the medical holistic industry is what caused the deep divide. Because fear is what separates. And everyone will be skeptical of any solution offered by those who still adopt that a person should pass away someday and don't want to feel symptoms and are afraid of viruses. When you are promoting antivirals and then you want someone to vectorize spike proteins from a virus and also feel a little bit of symptoms, when the system is diametrically opposed, diametrically in opposition to feeling symptoms, that is speaking out of both sides of your mouth. And this is why you have confusion. And that's it. That's going to YouTube. Bye.